We've maintained our good start so far, but as I take a look at the finances behind me, I realise we're in for a bit of an uphill climb. Hey everyone, just wanted to give you a quick update here. Um, obviously, my name is Frank. Welcome back to another episode of Eventless Save. Thank you for all the support showing on episode one and two, um, one of my fastest view series so far. Um, I feel like you're all coming along for the ride now with me and growing with me, which is really beautiful to see and very happy for you to be here. Um, thank you for all the comments and lovely messages from either Twitter, YouTube, wherever you're posting up. But thank you very much. You you know who you all are. Um, either way, uh, the board has restructured our debt in a way is fantastic because it I think it frees up, but it hasn't gone down. They've just basically changed how we're paying for it, I guess. Um, we're not paying a lot, really. Well, this is like we got a bank loan for, well, for like, 20 odd years which is fantastic 25 years um like we're projected to come out okay though like i mean ridiculous money by the end like three years time or so on but that's just because the brand of the um brand of uve is far too big to be put down here and i think also they're probably going to be genuinely because we've lot our, our wage budget has just like disappeared overnight we we had like i think one point something million wage budget now obviously it's down to a couple hundred grand which is um Obviously, it works financially, doesn't it? Like that, that's all right. That saves a bit of money right there. Um, either way, the, the we might have a bit of money next year to invest in Serie B, but uh, we're going to need it because I mean, look, if we go up like this, we're not going to be doing cracking, are we? But however, in this division, we're flying so far. We um, I mean, we're not we're not a hundred percent record. We did have a draw against Tristina along the way, but we're doing well. Um, we are doing well, but we're. Um, there's a few games like Pro Patria, which, which was genuinely quite hard. We we were struggling against them, but we left you off against uh, San Giuliano, I believe, the five nil win. And um, we followed up with a three nil win away at Pordenone, and um, we'll go through the goals and talk to each other as we see it. Oh, I'll skip the uh, Italian like uh, lower league cup one. Doesn't matter too much about that one. But yeah, no, it's been really fun to play so far. I hope it's coming across on videos and so on. And, and definitely going strikers has given me another edge to like enjoyment. Um, Rivas played the ball through to Fabio Moretti there, who's um, uh, I am patiently waiting for January for my man to leave me now. But uh, I mean, we pray. Moretti doubled the lead um, just shortly after that. Rivas again, and just composure of the 19-year-old just is increasing day by day. Rivas swung in for Sule, and then that man Kenan Yildiz is going to be our Burak Yildiz, uh, Yildiz, I think, of this save. He's just absolutely prolific at the moment. Sule with another assist. Rigoberto's been fantastic since coming in. Um, eight goals in eight games and four assists all in all. Um, genuinely making making himself a nuisance wherever he plays. After Paul Danone, we beat uh, Poro Patria 1-0. We scored very early on from Kenan Yildiz, but nothing really changed since then. Um, it, was a, it was a hard game. Generally, it was a slog. Um, and you could tell because we followed it up with a draw away at Tristina, where they actually took the lead for the first time to save it. We didn't have a, we didn't have anything to give them until the 64th minute when Rigoberto Rivas rescued us there. Um, just seeing to see a bit of patchiness come through. Obviously, we did pick up as you see here, but like, um, obviously, it's not a great thing. But we, I mean, look, we we're still not lost, so we can't be too sad. We um, in, we beat Piacenza um, five 0 in the Coppa Italia Legia or Liga Pro. I think this is like the lower league cup for Italy, so not a massive tournament, but at least we and we played a team in our own division anyway. Um, followed that with uh, uh, Albino Lefe, a um, team who used to be like in the top league in Pez, I think, or like near enough in like 2006 odds. That's, I remember them being around. Um, we beat them 4 1. Moretti, Rivas got two, and Sule. We'll watch the goals now, but um, yeah, no, another good performance. Um, obviously, at home, I think we're just a bit of a different animal. If you notice, we're conceding a lot more goals than obviously last episode. I don't think we did concede, but um, defense isn't looking imperious. Obviously, we're winning because we're. I think we've got the quality up front and midfield. That man Moretti starts the scoring early on as well. He's finding a scoring touch from that central midfielder role, which is great to see. Rebas, who obviously is the man at the moment right now for you, they scores there, and um, just after half time they did pull one back, but we did go on to score another couple. So it didn't matter too much, but Kocho. And beat Senko in goal there. I think, um, what's his name? Consiglia was injured uh, and he, he came in. He's like a 19-year-old Hungarian keeper. I don't think we'll see too much of him. But um, yeah, he didn't cover himself in glory. Sula with an unreal finish there, if you saw it. 
and Azueli play through to Rivas, who took one touch, and uh, their keeper just evened up the things with poor goalkeeping by just smashing that one into his own net. And then after the uh, Alba Leffa game, we played Piacenza again. We won 4-0. Um, we scored another four. Oh, sorry. Well, we scored five last time we played them, but nine goals in two outings against them did really well. And um, Sulo with another couple of two. He's progressing fantastically, as you can see. Um, this is what I wanted to start seeing. Like, the youngsters of Juve start progressing because they, they don't really get this type of first team football where they play every game because, you know, they've got people like... And someone did comment, where is Dusan Vlahovic? We'll show you where he is. You probably... Generally, won't believe this one, but he's at Man City, and he's a sub. He's a sub player, but he's doing unreal off the bench. Obviously, he's probably uh, backing up for Haaland, but I mean, he's still got off the bench. Off off the bench after seven sub appearances, he's got four goals. I mean, that's a decent sub option if you ask me. And um, we sold a few clauses of people who we sold literally when the game started, and um, just to sell on clauses straight away, just to break in a bit more money because we are struggling. Um, but yeah, no, we've done well so far. Um, we have another couple of games here today for you. And we'll be playing these three. Mantova, um, our B team. <laughs> and Pogola Tese um, at home. And then now probably wrap this one up. But then might not come back to you until like maybe December-ish. Just so, so we can play on and get, get through like the, the lower leagues. Because I think the challenge comes a bit later in the save. Either way, we'll play a couple of games today. And um, yeah, anything you need me to recap or I want to ask about in the comments, please do let me know any of the players you see here. I mean, this is our, basically our sunk-in starting 11. I mean, oh, sorry, made some changes there. But there, there you go, with Pinsoglio back. That's basically our starting 11. If there's anyone you want to learn a bit more about, or anyone I should be taking a look at down here, because I, I can't, I really can't play them all. And my squad isn't massive, by the way. Like, it really isn't. I mean, I've got people coming back from injury. Like, Valentin Gendry, who we signed, hasn't actually played yet, because he got injured when we signed him. But he's a long-term loan for us. Either way. Um, give me a couple of seconds. I'll be back for this game. Here we are for the Mantova game now. Um, only one change to the squad. Senko is actually going to have to play again because Pinsolio is still injured. Well, he's got a knock, but I'm not comfortable playing a keeper on the knock. I don't know about you. It always makes me a bit uh, cautious, I think would be the word. Um, but either way, look, we'll go into it. I'm confident we'll be able to pick up a victory. We've done well so far. We've not failed to win. Although we have failed to win once, but you know what I mean. We've not lost yet. Corner early doors from Moretti, head of the way. Rigoberto Rivas takes a touch, plays it back to the man Moretti, who's on fire at the moment. So they turns, he somehow snuck it in. Did you see the bend on that finish? Unbelievable from Matthias Sule. Have a look at this for a replay. What did he even do? I was actually shocked that went in. There was no angle. I mean, there was an angle, but not like that. I mean, wow, look at this. So they turns and... That's some spin from, like, no range. He side-footed it just past the keeper, but unbelievable finish. Just genuinely, like, what a finish. Only a point sixteen XG for that going in, and I see why, even though it was a couple of yards out. He wasn't really facing the goal particularly very well, but he somehow managed to bend it around the keeper. Mentova looking to reply quite early on here, though. And they're, um, they're a bit more advanced than any of the teams we've played so far. They're, they're spreading the ball around quite a bit. So Sante to Fagioli. Back to Senko. And that scared me very much there. Whenever the ball is rolling back to your keeper at some speed, you do you do get a bit um, of trepidation. Rigoberto over the top to Zuelli. They've cleared again. Gilardi back to their keeper now. Chiora. Oh no, he's made an absolute mare. Chiora. Will Sule finish? He won't. Oh, what a sitter. Did he chip it or did it take a deflection? Oh, it's awful from Matthias Sule. The man who just bent one in from an incredulous angle has now just missed an absolute sitter of an open goal. That's not what we want to see, is it? Oh, they've made another mistake, though. Moretti will pounce, surely. We've chipped it again. Giora, what? Moretti, what is going on? We could be free up here quite easily. Quite easily. We've missed the two easy chances. We've scored the difficult one. Not good enough. Genuinely not good enough. <laughs> they break now. Rodriguez. Mensa. Sule comes back and does a bit of good defensive work there, the right winger. Sosanti. Riccio. Riccio actually playing right centre back today due, due to um, a small injury to one of our players, which is, um, I think he's been our common right back so far. Rigoberto Rivas into the box now. Spins, squares it to Kenan Yildiz. 
Kenan Yildiz does not make any mistakes with finishing. He slams it home. The Turkish centre attacking mid, who's going to feel like he could be the one to come all the way with us. He has a decent potential ability in game, I believe. Um, I haven't checked. I just I can sense it by his attributes. He looks good, but the way he finished that with composure and absolute power, number thirty-eight. The numbers are fantastic, by the way. So when you basically release the whole squad and then like auto pick the numbers lazily, like I did, we got like Rigoberto being sixty-eight. Soleil's 24, our, mid, <laughs> our attacking mid's 38. I really like that, actually. That is a debate to be had in the comments. Are you a, like a conventional number man or number woman? Um, like, do you want 1 to 11 for your squad? Or do you need, like, or do, or do you prefer, like, the number 99 or the 97? Um, like, to be a fair, or the, the, we'll just call it the Brazilian way of numbering, where it just, or whatever you want, really, like 33, who cares? I actually like a bit of both. I quite like my back four typically, and this is really just weird, but my back my back four and keeper should be one, two, three, four, and five. I, I feel like always it just makes me feel comfortable. Maybe have a number six at the back as well. That, that doesn't bother me too much, however. But low numbers for defence, and then midfield and attackers. Number yourself as you wish, wherever you like. There's been another mix-up at the back there while I was talking about numbering systems, and Sule has pounced to finish there to make it 3-0 before half-time. Good work from Luca Ranieri at the left back spot. Rigoberto Rivas got into the box, squared it, took a deflection, missed their players, and Sule just ran home to finish. Game is going all our way so far. I don't think they've had a shot on target as of yet. Moretti, Ranieri, a couple of minutes before half time. We'll be looking to make changes, obviously, because this game is more or less wrapped up. So we'll make we'll take Faggy and Chagioli off and. Um, uh, Moretti and so on, just to give them some rest for the next, the coming games. Because there is one thing about division, we might be doing well and winning, but the games do come thick and fast, and there you have to manage your squad fitness, um, if anything. Because I, I've noticed the, the game we drew, and then the game we only won one deal against Pro Patria. Um, <laughs> Fagioli and De Moretti are actually on international duty for Italy, like the under twenty ones. And I didn't realise, oh no, we've could <laughs> oh no, we've conceded. No, I'm not used to this on the <laughs> that what a goal as well, to be fair. Rodriguez cracking off a Mentova. But yeah, sorry, I had my point before I uh, got interrupted by them scoring a cracking goal from a point four XG. Was that we we are susceptible to lose our players to um international football. And I can request a postponement, but you just pile up fixtures anyway, so you might as well just play them. And, like, I mean, not being funny, we have a decent margin gap already. But something to be wary of, if that gap starts decreasing for whatever reason, we just don't do well and we're missing people, then we start playing people around us and so on. Just to be completely honest, other than Paul Danone, we've not played Trento, we've not played our B team, we've not played for Alpes, whatever their name is, Fralpisala. For Alpisala, we've not played them yet. So, and to be fair, I don't know how this league table is going to shape up. But I think we're doing really well, and I do fancy us to go up. By the way, that second half just flew by. We conceded a goal and just froze. We're like, no, no more. <laughs> Either way, we're into literally the last highlight. It would be Zueli. Matthias Sule is on a hat trick, and I think he'll get it. I think that's on. There's no VAR in this. Oh. Okay, there's no VAR, but there is linesman. I'm not used to um, referees on the pitch making a decision. They don't do that anymore. They just wait and hope the technology saves them. They don't make decisions anymore, which is why I hate, genuinely. However, World Cup's been pretty okay. There's been some strange performances, though. Like, um, oh, I mean, as you're watching, last night was the Argentina-Holland game for me, and um, that referee was just mental, no? Like, well, what was that about? It dish him out yellow card. I mean, to be fair, he had to deal with the situation in front of him, but... Just madness, absolute madness. Oh, there's a disallowed goal. Oh, it's a fraction on the the old uh, right back there. Was thought I, I thought he was keeping him on, but clearly not to be. I've won a three one victory. It's a cracking result, and we've done well. We've moved ourselves a bit forward on now. To um, oh, we're still in the UEFA Youth League. I didn't remove us from that. We're doing okay. Well, relatively, I guess. Up the under twenties. I have to keep my eye closely on the under twenties and the under and the B team and the under eighteens, but I am going by like what they're saying. So if I go dev center, there is a few people that could move up. 
But I'm, I'm quite cautious to move people up and like, oh, to be fair, a 20-year-old fullback can come up. If he's not going to be playing at 20, I don't think if I get promoted this year, he'll be playing ever again. Um, do you know what? We'll chuck them all up. Whatever. I'm going to ignore my caution and uh, move those B-team suggested players. Suggested? I can't speak today. I apologise. The suggested players up to our first team. Oh, boy. Give me a couple of seconds. We're still unbeaten. We're doing well. And we'll play the um, <laughs> we'll play our B team. This is weird. I've never done this before. In many I've saved. In the league, played your B team. A couple of changes playing our B team. Um, <laughs> Tarek Muhammerovic has come in instead of an injured centre-back there. I believe Moretti. Uh, not Moretti. What's his name? Um, oh, Riccio. That's it. And um, yeah, the rest of the team is more or less unchanged. Um, either way, this is going to be interesting because, um, well, I don't know who they're going to play. But I literally employ all these people. I mean, in a way, I guess. Um, I, d I really don't know. Is that who we're... I mean, I need to just take a look. Is that a team with definitely... Is this literally players we have? Because uh, if they fill them in, which is fine. I don't know. No, that's our team. Oh, this is going to be fun. They're probably going to be our... Um, it probably could be our toughest test, I guess, because they do have a lot of quality. By no means am I saying I'm doing a difficult playthrough. I don't believe it is. We have scored those. We have scored early on. Uh, where are we playing? Our training grounds? Like, uh, what is this? Their away grounds? What's going on? That's like his first goal for Juventus as well, Zueli. Well, a man who's played quite um, frequently for us. It's a lovely little flick on from Bellucci, actually, which um, doesn't get shown there. But um, no, that's really good. Yeah, a nice little flick on. Good finish from Zueli. Um, <laughs> It's just a picket. Like, who are the fans coming to support um, the B team only and don't come to us? Is, is that how it works? Or is this just, surely it'd be packed out? If you are playing the B team, they'll pack out the stadium, the training stadium. So, Santi. Riccia cleared long. I can't lose. Like, do you know what? For street cred on FM, you just can't lose to your B team, can you? Like, I mean, please, Jesus, don't allow this to happen. Just make sure we get another couple, please. Oh, you'll do no. That's a bad miss. Man been on fire recently as well. We are restricting them to no shot. Oh, they've had a shot now. But as I just said it, but we're restricting them to not many shots, shall I say. And they restart play with Reiner, Viducci. Asa. Cleared forward. Venucci all the way back to Pinsolio there. So Santi, Zueli. We're getting the ball moving nicely now. Soleil. Lovely bit over the top. Uh, I think uh, City will win it for them. Reiner, Verducci. It can't be very horrible to any of these players because they might play for us. So I'm not going to be <laughs> I'm not going to be nasty and call them Neff. Moretti, Zuelli. Already got a goal today. Sassanti, Sule, Moretti. Oh no, there was like a just a mix up in his head there. I think he the, didn't expect the ball to come to him, and um, Yildiz has tried to score. Just literally just. Just, it got nothing on it. It just, it just rolled into the keeper's hands. Benucci. I love the way we build up play from the back, though. Gen genuinely, as we move up divisions and get better players and so on, I'm excited to see what this tactic can do. Because Kenan Yield is, is absolutely thriving with it at the moment. The um, That centre-attacking mid-roll in the strikers' formation, he is becoming prolific now. Like The runs, I just think it's because he's starting from a deeper position in the playing field. It just makes the runs forward. And to be fair, he's got a finisher's eye about him, Kim and Yielders. We'll just have, just literally just pinpoint him now. Velleman's going well. Um, he's not, do you know what, he's not a short boy either. He's 185 centimetres, so he's, what, like six foot, maybe? Maybe six foot one, I don't, I don't know. I'm 192 centimetres or three. So I'm six foot two or three-ish. Six three. When I wear Air Force, it's about six foot six because the, <laughs> the sole's about that much. Yeah, I think I'm about six three-ish. And I've definitely got a bit of a game of hunchback about me, so I'll straight up with it. I don't know. But <laughs> he's a tall lad. He's not that quick, which is probably his only thing, which is but you know what, for 17, the determination's there. The rough build of a good player is in there somewhere. And he's just scored again for us against ourselves. I think calling the episode playing with ourselves would be a bit uh, too on the nose, but I'll play around with the title. I called it Italian car parks last episode and I thought, oh, that's really stupid. I'll just change that within a couple of hours. I don't know if you noticed it. Rigoberto Rivas. Oh, lovely drinking run there, but didn't go in. Good good effort as well, to be fair. Moretti over a corner now. Swung in. Zuelli hits the post, I believe, or a save either way. So they've managed to clear their lines. 
love to see some of our passing maps. Yeah, we'll have a little look after the game. Interesting to see. Oh, they are literally playing our formation. <laughs> I mean, tactically, I guess that is a bit of an advantage. If they're playing our own formation against us, either that's meant to neutralise us or... Um, I know, but the, but the thing is, I know they've not done that unintentionally. I've forced them to do it because when you, like... Even by default, I think, when you have a B team or under 20 or under 18, they just automatically use your tactic. There's a button to turn that off, of course, but I must say, Zueli is having a game to be to just behold here. From He hasn't scored before today. He's got his first ever goal for the club and two assists, so he's celebrating today in style. Oh, you may be nearly scored then. I believe it's offside, but they were close to it. And to be fair to them, we've not seen their chances, but they've had a fair amount of XG, but we've not seen it. At all. <laughs> and it looks like we've just absolutely spanked them. Which, on the scoreboard, we have. Very. Cotter. Oh, it's another bad miss. Byron, Str Byron Strydonk. I mean, I love his name. He's, he's got a great potential, to be fair. Um, obviously, he's a bit young. And he, to be fair, he doesn't look amazing, does he? But he's got what well, a great potential. And he, apparently, he's playing really well today. Sule. So Santi, loads of space to the right back. Come on, move forward. Tries to play into Kenan Yildiz. He's got nothing on the ball, though. It's just going to roll out. I think someone asked yesterday, like, what's going on with all the pops? Oh, sorry, all the pops over here. Um, instead of just selling a few, you know it's like over my head over here. I've got a bit more space freeing up now. I'm just selling a few that I don't really like anymore. I, I tried to collect all the Lord of the Rings pops. I'm a bit of a Lord of the Rings fan, but um, my girlfriend isn't. <laughs> so so they're going. <laughs> However, we do have a joint love of Marvel and they're staying, um, which is good. But no, I'm not. Do you know what, though? I tried to collect all of the Lord of the Rings pops or something like that. Like, generally tried to complete the set. I was quite close. I was a couple of, like, a couple of the expensive ones, as typically happens in collecting. Whenever you get close to, like, completing a set, you, you, you get, like, a couple left which are worth maybe, like, to purchase couple hundred quid each, which, but then you think, oh, yeah, like I've done it, but then what now? Or like, do I really want to spend that money? Like, no, not really. Like, I'm happy. I like, I had them for a little while. And to be honest with you, like, I'm not investment tips with Frank, but like, they all kind of went up in money. Like, they're all vaulted now, which means they don't make them anymore on the shelf. And it's a bit sad to say goodbye to them, but not that bothered really. I just want to free up space for the new ones which are coming, which, um, I do like a subscription service where I order them like once a month and then they get sent to me, which is cool. Within reason. I mean, yeah. Cool as in as cool as you can be for for um <laughs> Oh, we've just signed Conte's brother. Why is he not a Tottenham? Oh, did they sack Conte again? Oh my dear, who's Dean Rastrick? Oh they <laughs> <laughs> Tot, Jim, in your save, does Conte ever make it out of the first season? Like for me, no. What's happened? Oh, they've been absolutely smashed around. Oh, to be fair to him, they started improving things, but no, mad. Well, I was just wondering how we signed Conte's brother and why he was a free agent. He, he wouldn't be. He just got sacked from Spurs and come over here. I'm surprised Conte isn't after my job. If you they dropped down this low, they would throw billions at him to get him back. Oh, anyway, cracking performance against our B team. We've done well there. Um, what we'll do is we'll probably wrap it up there for today because we spoke so much about absolute waffle. I've just gone on and on. We'll, we'll give it a bit of a break. We'll come back quite far on, I reckon, maybe in even in Jan. Um, we, we, we seem to be capable of taking this league. But as I said, the main thing is getting to January and trying to keep our players because it's going to be hard. I know we're going to get bids for people. And we haven't got any wanted yet, apart from Benucci again. But I think we can fend off interest from Wolves and PSV Eindhoven for him. Um, but the ones we're worried about losing, I mean, we can just literally just fill it by value. Moretti, uh, Fagiola, and like just like Benucci, really. I mean, we're not going to sell Rebass. He just joined, didn't he? So he won't be willing to leave. But there's a couple of things which would absolutely just knacker us. But hopefully we don't get to that point. I thank you for watching. My name's been Frank. Thanks for watching the Juve Save. And I'll be back to you for another episode. Probably next week, Monday, Tuesday-ish. See you later.